Hello everyone and welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. We're on episode number 82 today and as always I'm Shane. Go ahead and follow me on Twitter if you haven't already at smthomas3. Go back to codecrowdy.com, check out the other Daily Dose of Drupal videos and sign up for the newsletter. Today we're going to be going over another very simple module. It's the Field Formatter Class module. The, again this isn't a module you're going to use on every website unless it's something that you really need to use for specific design purposes. But what it allows you to do is it allows you to specify a class to be on the wrapper div that goes around any fields for any of your content types. And basically what this is going to allow you to do is let's say you have specific classes you want to add for specific types of text or for specific design or display purposes. You can use the same class across multiple fields and you can simplify your CSS files so you don't have to write as many CSS rules and it can just really help simplify. There's probably not anything you couldn't do without it in all reality but it can drastically simplify how much CSS you need to write especially if you have a lot of common displays across different fields. So it's a really simple module but before we get started if you or anyone you know is interested in getting an e-commerce site developed with Drupal Go ahead and contact me on CodeKarate.com. My development team has a few empty spots in the next upcoming months, and we're looking to fill a couple. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I already have the module, the Field Formatter Class module, downloaded and installed. It's also, it also has a requirement for the Field Formatter Settings module, so you're going to want to download that and get that one installed as well. So we'll go ahead and show you that those are installed. You can see the field formatter class and field formatter settings API have been downloaded and enabled. And all this does is gives you a simple option on the manage display page of a content type. So if I go to content types, in this case I'll go to article, click on manage display, you can see that it says no class here. If I click on this test field that I created, I can add a class. Before we look at what that does, Let's go ahead and go to an article that has this field filled out. As you can see, I have a field there with some text in it. If I hover over it, it has this wrapper div that goes around the entire field. You'll notice it already has a bunch of classes. And this is why I said it's not something you're going to need in every case because a lot of times you'll be able to use the classes that are given. But if you have a lot of, for instance, text field classes and maybe a couple of text area classes or something with a bunch of text, and you want to have one class that you can use between all of these or you, you can probably come up with a whole bunch of ideas if you have worked with CSS quite a bit for ways to help lessen the amount of CSS you need to write but we're going to add a class to this field just to show you how it works so I'm going to go ahead and come into the content types page go back to article and go to manage display I'm going to go over to test field one and go ahead and add a my test field class. If I update that, save this, and I refresh this page, come back to this wrapper, you'll notice right here there's my test field is at the end of this in the classes list. This means I could of course target this with specific CSS. You know, Maybe for this class I wanted the color to be red or you know some other design type of purpose then in this case I could set my test field and have certain w field items show up as red so maybe you have a bunch of text fields and you don't want them to all be the same but you do want some of them to have a red color you could go ahead and add this class to a couple of them and you could of course change that this of course works across all your different types of fields so you could of course add it to looks like you can add it to your tags field or even your body field you can go ahead and add those classes change the design based on specific fields and add CSS to your various field displays and that's really all there, all there is to this module like I said it's a very simple module if you're a designer or a theme developer you'll know if you've run into these pain points before and you will know when it's probably necessary to add this module to your Drupal website. 
So that's it for this time on The Daily Dose of Drupal. We'll be back again next time with another episode. Thanks for watching.